If you're fond of PC modding and upgrades, don't simply get rid of your old drives, use them. Today we're going to walk you through transforming an old SSD into super speedy external portable storage. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we help up your tech DIY know-how. Most people think of SSDs as super fast storage that lives inside your PC or laptop or next-gen gaming console. But with our devices getting faster and faster, making sure your external storage can keep up is important. Good news is if you happen to have an older internal SSD lying around, you can save yourself money and repurpose it into usable external storage rather than saving your pennies for a new external drive. Let's chat about external versus internal drives. As I mentioned earlier, internal drives live inside your computer. External drives, on the other hand, are portable and can travel with you from place to place, from device to device, and are an easy way to temporarily attach more storage or transfer files wherever and whenever needed. To transform an internal drive to an external drive, you'll need to make sure it's protected from any real world threats like dust, dropping, etc. And you'll need to give it away to communicate with your various devices since it will no longer be attached to the innards of your device. Why SSD? When most people think of external storage, they typically think of external hard drives, traditional HDD drive technology. While you can find larger capacity storage at a more affordable price point, this type of storage is slower than SSD storage and is more prone to failing due to a drop or being tossed around in a bag because of the moving parts within. SSD storage, on the other hand, has no moving parts and works faster, even though it can be more expensive. This is why turning your gently used internal SSD into an external SSD is such an appealing prospect. Let's say you've decided to upgrade your rig with a new NVMe SSD and you've got your old SATA SSD just sitting there feeling lonely. If you replaced your storage because the old one was faulty, chances are it probably won't work any better as external storage. However, if you updated simply due to speed or capacity, you should be good to go. The first thing you'll want to do is transfer all the data from the old drive to the new drive if you haven't already. Be sure to purchase a drive that includes a cloning software kit to make that part of your life a bit easier. Kingston normally bundles with Acronis software for this very purpose. Next, you'll need to get an enclosure to house your storage, both for protection from outside elements and to help the drive communicate with more traditional external transfer methods like USB. Some portable enclosures, you simply slide the drive in. Others, there's a latch or you use a screwdriver. There's specialty enclosures for M.2 SSDs and most come with either USB-A or USB-C connectors. If your computer supports USB-C and NVMe, be sure to use an NVMe M.2 enclosure for optimum performance. Check out the video linked in the description for a step-by-step -step guide if you need help installing your internal drive into an external enclosure. After it's all set to go, you'll want to erase the data on the old drive either by deleting the old files or reformatting the drive. Again, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to reformat an SSD, we've got a video on that too that you can check out also linked in the description. Now you're good to go. I personally love repurposing tech. As often as I upgrade and tinker with my gadgets, I tend to have quite a bit of stuff lying around that may not be worth it to sell and I just can't bear to toss. So let us know what tech you've got sitting around that you want to repurpose and maybe just maybe we'll put together a future DIY in five video just for you. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.